Um, since September I have only had one hour of face-to-face -face teaching in person um, and that's been the same for pretty much all my other friends that I know at university. Coronavirus has disrupted almost every industry, including education. But whereas most consumers, like holidaymakers for example, have been able to get refunds on things like flights, university students on the other hand, many of whom who have paid 9,000 in tuition fees for this year, have not been afforded the same protections. It just sort of feels like we're being taken advantage of and it, it does feel like I'm a victim of daylight robbery. Thousands of students are calling for refunds of tuition fees, but is it possible? Students fundamentally throughout this pandemic um, have ultimately been forgotten, scapegoated and um, under supported by the government throughout. They've had to navigate a new way of learning and, and receiving their education in ways that have been um, severely disrupted. Many students were enticed back to campus with the promise of a blended learning approach where students would have a mixture of in-person and online learning. But for many students like Leanne, the majority of her teaching has been online. I do criminology with forensic science um, and we were supposed to have lots of lab work this year um, for sort of you know forensic analysis um, but we haven't had that at all. And that's kind of been detrimental to our learning because we've kind of had to pick up on um, concepts that are quite practical through theory alone. Though not all students have had their teaching online this year, courses like medicine, dentistry and veterinary science have continued in person. Yet many students believe they have been getting bad value for their tuition fees. So in the surveys that we've been running, we found that firstly, one in five students, so around 22%, um, claimed that, it, that their expectations for teaching were not met during last term. Um, we also found that 13% of those receiving online learning are still unable to access this sufficiently to complete their studies, whilst 17% do not agree that this provision have been of a good quality standard. So are students able to get a refund? Students may be entitled to a refund if they feel that they haven't received an adequate quality of um, education this year. However, it's really difficult um, to, to get that in a system that doesn't really um, provide a universal way for that to happen. Some of those who are trying to get a partial refund, like Leanne, are finding that the process isn't that straightforward. And it just feels like we're going around in circles. I mean, some of us have contacted our lo local MPs, like myself, and their responses was basically saying, you know, it's the university's problem, a sort of shifting the blame. Over a quarter of a million people signed a petition calling for partial refunds due to coronavirus. It was debated in Parliament and the government said if students were unhappy, they should complain to their university and then escalate it to the Office of the Independent Adjudicator for Higher Education or OIA, the University Ombudsman, if still unhappy. Some people have managed to get refunds for tuition. The students cite the tab say about one in every 30 students who asks for a fee refund has had one. However, some universities are refusing to give any tuition fee refunds to students unhappy with the COVID disruption. In a statement, Universities UK, a body which represents 140 unis across the country, said, Universities have spent significant amounts on hardship funds, supporting students to have the right equipment and resources to study, and online services from careers advice to support for mental health and well-being. The government is clear that there should not be blanket tuition fee refunds, but individual students should seek redress where they have particular concerns about their experience of their course. But it's not just about the money. For the students who feel like they've missed out on key education, will universities be able to make it up? So what we've been advocating for is um, for universities to be able to make up um, that teaching and make up that lost education. And actually for that to happen, the government really, really need to step in and provide maintenance funding for students to be able to take up that additional um, teaching and learning that they've missed out because of this pandemic. So they can fully get um, their, their degrees and the education that they signed up for. Universities may not have been able to offer normal teaching during the pandemic, but if they've been able to provide equivalent teaching, even if that means missing out physically being, say, in the lab, it's thought that it's unlikely students will get tuition fee refunds. Refunds will depend on the contract signed with the university upon enrolment. As students are essentially consumers and under consumer law are entitled to the service that was advertised.